Take number two. My Adobe player just crashed, so... Wait. Hi! <laughs> so I'm at it again. So... Hi everyone, it's Monica from Kids Lids for my journey to a happier, healthier me for Sunday, October 2nd. Today was a good day up until this afternoon. So let me tell you my morning first. Um, we decided not to go to the breast cancer walk today, unfortunately, because it was so cold out, like freezing cold out, honestly, like crazy, crazy, crazy cold. And uh, it was raining. So with me not feeling the best on Friday, not wanting to miss any more school, and um, the kids, we just figured that we wouldn't go today. Sorry, team, we missed you, and I love you guys. But um, we decided to make the best of it and have a nice day at home. So this morning for the fam, I made some oatmeal for breakfast with just brown sugar and cinnamon. As you guys know, one of my favorite things to make. And um, I made way too much because that's me. So from the leftovers, I decided that I was going to make some oatmeal muffins. They're like these cupcake muffiny things, and they're so good. And uh, you actually have to soak the oatmeal before you make it. So if you make some extra oatmeal in the morning, you can just use that and put the milk right into it. It's pretty cool. So I used almond milk, and um, I, as you know, that I'm vegan now. So I made the cupcakes that would have been normal, um, normal, I guess, into vegan cupcakes. So into for a normal cupcake recipe and turn it into vegan cupcakes. There you go. So for the egg, I use flax, and how you do that is you just put three tablespoons of water with one tablespoon of uh, ground flax seeds and you let it sit for maybe five minutes maybe a little bit longer and it turns into this like jelly kind of feel it's really gross but anyway it's an egg replacer right because it acts as a binder so um did that and they were just so delicious that the kids gobbled them up so did kevin and i and uh yeah that's why i don't make these things too often right <laughs> and now i see why they charge like Sometimes two seventy five or three fifty for the good sized vegan cupcakes at um, you know like LPK or Panassi or whatever or uh, Bunners because it's a lot of work compared to just the regular way of making a recipe. You have to alter things and sometimes it takes longer because there's more sitting time for the ingredients to um, coagulate in that case or whatever that they have to do and um, yeah so it is more time consuming but worth it in the end um so yeah so i made oatmeal for breakfast and then um decided that like an hour and a half later that we were gonna have some spring rolls so we did the spring rolls which by the way broke open again and was driving me mad and then i made this like sauce and it was disgusting it was actually making me almost want to gag it was so weird so i didn't eat it needless to say it was um i mixed soy sauce with plum sauce and ketchup and sugar. Don't do that. Just saying. It was so, yeah, it's really gross. It was gross. Did you taste it? Just like yeah. a dip your finger, right? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Oh, it was on the plate too, right? Yep. Oh, so it was gross. I'll be, I'll be eating that so it's not to waste it. It's okay if you waste it. Believe me, it's disgusting. And um, I ended up just washing the rest of it out of a cup. I'll never make that again. So, see, I don't always make everything perfect. You know, I have a text from my mom, probably. No, I don't. Okay, good. I was making sure, because Nicole's mom texted me today to thank me for the weekend. Well, thank us. Isn't that so adorable? And I just thought that was so sweet. Her name is Melinda. Hi. And uh, her daughter is a doll. We love her. She's so cute. And I'm so happy that, you know, Maureen and her are friends and they met at Mary Grove Camp. They only go there for one week, right? So sometimes you don't really become friends with anybody because you are only there for one week and you know that you might not see them next year. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is Nicole's last year. She's a year older than Marina, so she should. Yeah, but it goes until 16, doesn't it? So I guess she can go this year and then not next year. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. Anyway, um... So yeah, and then uh, about, I don't know, an hour after that, 
the girls were like, we're hungry. So I said, okay, well, what do you want? I don't know. So I'm looking through the fridge, and oh, we still have to cut the strawberries. And <laughs> thinking about looking in the fridge. Because we have to get that ready for lunch is Oh, that sounds yummy. So um, they wanted burgers. But they wanted my burgers, my tofu burgers. I only buy myself a certain amount of things every week because then it doesn't go to waste. But the kids always want to eat it. You keep offering it to me, but I keep saying no. For that exact reason. Yeah, I know. But whatever. I always want them to try everything and see if they like it. So, of course, I was like, yeah, sure. So I cooked them up um, the uh, tofu patties with dill, which, look, I still have the thing here. So these ones, the shifu tofu, right? So I cooked that up. And then, did I just have that upside down? No, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then they didn't want a plain. So I was making a loaf of sunflower seed, sesame, no, sunflower seed flax bread, which Kevin actually needed this morning. It turned out so good. And, um, that was, was that your first time making bread? Not in a long time. Okay, so it wasn't his first time ever, but it was his first time in a long time. And, uh, yeah. So they had to wait for that to cool down. And then I had to give them that. So, like, half the loaf of bread that was supposed to be for tomorrow and Tuesday and maybe even Wednesday is now gone. <laughs> Whatever. So I'll be making more bread. And I forgot that I have sesame seeds, so the next one will probably be sesame seed bread. So that was that. And then um, Kevin laid down while I was baking the oatmeal muffins, which we used the chocolate peanut butter icing on. It's to die for. And... It's um, really good. I didn't hear that. <laughs> what, that? They didn't hear say it's really good? Yeah. So, um, then I went to lay down and he woke up. And I woke up with this excruciating pain. I can't even explain it. I was okay, and then I went to go to the bathroom, just pee. TMI. And then I'm getting, oh, like, this... Yeah. I can't even stand cramp, I can't sit cramp, I can't do anything cramp, and I'm like, where did this come from? So I thought that it would just be like, you know, a two second cramp, and not that it ever happens, but no, it was like killing me. Came out here, and I warmed up some of the breakfast biscuits, and then I couldn't even eat them. I ended up having to go and lay back down, and then screaming for Kevin to come, and he had to go to Shopper's Drug Mart and get me some Motrin. And thank God for Motrin, because that stuff is amazing. So, I feel better right now, but that doesn't mean it's going to last. I might even take a single Motrin before I go to bed to just make sure, because I took it, like, early, like 1 o'clock or so. So, maybe no, not. No, 3 o'clock? 4.30. 4.30. Oh, Which God. is why you're not feeling any pain still. Yeah, I'm a little high right now on the Motrin. <laughs> I don't take anything, like, ever unless I'm in excruciating pain. So when I do, I get really drunk, and I slur my speech and everything. So it's quite entertaining, I must say. Um, okay, yeah. So then I started working on the blanket for Melissa, which I won't show until tomorrow's Fresh Off the Hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. That's, that's, um... I don't know if she still uses it, but that was Marcel's uh, little doodaddy thing for her um, song, theme song. song. There you go, doodaddy thing. I'm so technical sometimes, isn't it great? So, um, yeah, so I'll show that tomorrow's fresh off the hook, and I have some more hats that I've been making at school, or on my way to school and back, and actually during some of my classes, because while well, they're lecturing, I'm not, you know, just sitting there crocheting. And, oh, that's something that I thought was so cute. Our ECE child care workshop, whatever it's actually called, the technical name, whatever, um, is awesome. Her name is Mrs. Well, I never call her Mrs., but anyway, Miss. Um, her name's Amy. And um, Shop Bolt. So she was like, she's so adorable. She's very sentimental. So she came over and she's like, What are you making? I said, I'm making some hats for preemies to donate to Crafting for a Cure. She's like, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> She's so cute. She's not like me, right? <laughs> Everything makes you cry. So 
She said, how cool would it be if like everybody in the class who knew how to knit or crochet, which there are quite a few in there, would make up a whole bunch of hats or whatever we want to make and then we donate them as like part of our program. I'm like, oh, that would be awesome. I love that idea. So I'm actually going to be in charge of taking the donations. I didn't tell you that. I totally forgot. No, you didn't. I just remembered That's right awesome. now. So isn't that really cool? Yay. I think that'll be so nice. So what I'll do is like, maybe I'll film in the class. <gasps> if it'll work. Because you know how mm, so demented you. YouTube is sometimes. I'm sure they'll let me film in the class. I would just have to get permission from each person if they want to be on camera. And or at school. No, if it's in my classroom, I don't think I have to. Who cares about the school? We'll just ask my students in the class that I know, okay? Anyway, so I'm already at 1042, holy Moses. Anyway, so um, for dinner, did I say dinner? No, I think I said dinner in the other one that crashed. Um, Kevin and Marina had honey garlic chicken wings. I had baked tofu, so delicious. Kevin doesn't like it. <laughs> That's an understatement. He chews it and he's like, this is not for I me. Ate it. He ate it. But as I said in the other video that got chopped off, he would eat like chocolate covered fried cockroaches or something weird because he has to taste everything. Doesn't mean he's going to like it. He just has to taste it. I won't do that. Me I on the other hand? I that. No way. Are any of you like that? Will you try like anything? You know what my biggest thing is? I have to smell everything before I eat it. Does anybody find that weird? I even find it weird. But, like, anything. Like, even if I've eaten it a million times, I have to smell it before I eat it. I don't know. Because if it's not pleasant to my nose, then I don't want to taste it, right? And I think that, like, if your food is off or anything, you can smell it first before you would even put it in your mouth. So. <laughs> He's shaking his head at me. So, um, yeah. That's it for today, I think. And, um, Marina wanted me to tell you before I forget about the dog downstairs that she's walking. His name is Shug, and he's the most adorable little dog. He's like a little ragamuffin. I wonder if Charlie's sleeping so nice. He's so cute. Is he sleeping or is he just staring at he's you? He's actually sleeping. He has eyes closed and everything. Um, so they, they took him for a walk tonight, and they took Charlie with him. They went all around the block while I was uh, at home in pain and cooking. It wasn't very fun. But they had a nice time, and, and they made friends, kind of. Because, <laughs> you know, mental Charlie is. So, I better cut this off earlier than 14 minutes and, like, 59 seconds so that it doesn't mess up, and hopefully it won't crash. All right. I love you guys, and I hope you're doing well on your journey. Um, I want to say hi to... Who do I want to say hi to today? Because I haven't done any, like, older shout-outs for a while. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, I'm going to say hi to Eminem Lady Z today. Hey, girlfriend! And Ms. Ray210. Hi! <laughs> um, and then one other person, Beth in Texas, because I just love you. And um, so they're all doing um, weight loss journeys, and then Beth in Texas is a crocheter. And I'd like to say hi to Mr. Where I'm Going. He's awesome. He tapes on Mondays, or vlogs on Mondays. And he just does all these, like, random things that bother him or that... He wants to chat about he was talking about pride in his town and um he crochets as well and oh my gosh he's so talented so i want to say a shout out to him and that's it all right bye everyone share your smile bye i love you don't wait <laughs> bye <laughs>